Somaliland, known to locals as the Republic of Somaliland, is an unrecognized sovereign state in the Horn of Africa. Somaliland is, however, internationally considered to be part of the Federal Republic of Somalia. Somaliland lies in the Horn of Africa, on the southern coast of the Gulf of Aden. Oh, and what exactly is the Gulf of Aden, you might ask? Also known as the Gulf of Berbera, the Gulf of Aden is a deep water basin that forms a natural sea link between the Red Sea and the Arabian Sea. Somaliland, with a population of about 3.5 million people, is an oasis of peace in a region largely known for terrorism. Al Shabab, Al Shabab. <laughs> Hunger, a desert place. Our mission to Somaliland was humanitarian in nature. This involved audiovisual documentation and hence the need to be properly prepared. In today's episode, however, we delve into the sideshows. And so we set off for Somaliland armed to the teeth. The Somaliland route is mainly plied by Ethiopian Airlines, of course with the usual layover and connection in Addis Ababa at Bole International Airport. So after slightly less than two hours journey to Ethiopia, a very long nine hour overlay at Bole International Airport, we landed at Igal International Airport in Hargeisa at 6 p.m. 55 minutes after departure from Bole. Igal Airport was opened in 1954 by the British Royal Air Force, then modernized in the 1980s by the Somalia government of the late President Siad Barre. It is named after Mohammed Haj Ibrahim Egal, a veteran politician who served as Somaliland president from 1993 to 2002. He was also Somalia's Prime Minister in the 1960s. In 2012, the airport was closed for renovations and later reopened for business on 7th August 2013. And before I forget, with us is this man, super photojournalist, Zuhar Zoha Gohar Luai, and he is quite fun to hang out with. In today's episode, we pitch camp in Hargeisa, the capital city of Somaliland. Let us take a drive in this beautiful land with you. What makes Hargeisa unique? Let us start with the so-called sign of Hargeisa, commonly referred to as the woman breasts. From the locals, nobody really knows why they are called so, apart from the obvious resemblance. These are visible from all vantage points in the city. Then, there's the downed MiG-17 fighter jet, a monument to when the regime in Mogadishu carpet-bombed Hargeisa in 1988 during Somaliland's independence bid. Vehicles in Hargeisa drive on the right side of the road. I'll be honest, this doesn't make sense at all. Why? Over 80% of the vehicles in the city are right-hand drive. That's not all. What is with the large population of Toyota Vits in the city? They dot the whole city, and as you will come to discover in later episodes, the whole country as well. Everywhere you turn, there is the Toyota Vits first generation. There is also a strong love for big SUVs, fuel guzzlers as Kenyans commonly call them. Well, there is every reason for one to drive one without a worry in the world. Fuel here goes for only $0.6, an equivalent of 64 Kenya shillings. Let me give you a second to take that in. There is something Kenyans can relate to on the streets of Hargeisa. Very aggressive driving. <laughs> Somali is the main language in Somaliland. You might not get anywhere, anything minus a local translator not only in Hargeisa, but in the whole of Somaliland. Our driver Ahmed only understood a few words of English, 
but this made the whole experience memorable. You will also get escort in Hargeisa, whether you like it or not. Fear not! This doesn't mean that Hargeisa isn't safe. To be honest, this is the safest we felt in the longest time. The city is beautiful. The CBD is dotted with a number of high-rise buildings. Mosques dot every corner of the city. And the youth are kept occupied by the good old sport of football in pitches that dot the city. This to keep them away from any mischief. From a vantage point overlooking the city, one can notice many green areas around the city. These are cemeteries. Well kept, I must add. Before we wind up this episode, we need to tell you that in Somaliland, you are better off arming yourself with US dollars. That is the main currency of transaction. This, together with the Somaliland shilling, which unfortunately is so much devalued. On our first day in Hargeisa, we now close for the day and head to our hotel. Mansur Hotel. Wonderful hospitality. On the menu, Somali boiled goat. You can never go wrong with food in Hargeisa. Camel meat will soon be on the menu. Next week, we take you on a trip to Alibade on the border with Ethiopia and later to the port city of Berbera further north. <laughs>